Hello, English 3D Lions. This is Mrs. Lambert, your librarian. I'm going to um, talk to you uh, in this video helper just about general citations and uh, general practices for your multi-genre research. So this is part one of your video helper. So you're going to go to readylibrary.com, click on English 3D, multi-genre research project. Once you are here, this video and video part two will be embedded down here and linked here. Um, but this little click here will take you directly into your Mac and Via group for this project. Um, you will log into Mac and Via. You'll put Reedy as your school, your six digit student ID as your login, and your eight digit uh, birthday as your password. Up here in the view instructions, your teachers have, have uh, you have copies of all these in Google Drive, but these are just here just in case for some reason you need to refer to them uh, or anything along the way. Um, these will force you to make a copy of these, so um, but they are here for your for your reference. Okay. All right. So a couple of things you guys are going to be using MLA 8, which is the new version of MLA citations. Um, it's actually way easier to do citations under MLA 8 than it was under MLA 7. So just make sure um, all the databases that I have pulled for you in here are using MLA 8, um, but I do have uh, both the uh, EasyBib guide to MLA 8, which I really like um, because it quickly uh, it gives you all these quick links to different things um, but just know that um, everything that you guys are going to be looking at uh, newspapers magazines journal articles images I mean everything you guys are going to be using is going to be digital and all of this refers to digital and print it's just it's so much easier now but these are all here for you now uh, really easy to link and then of course I have the Al Purdue MLA 8 guide over here as well this is just a quick link to your Google Drive um, that you can use. And then I went ahead and put the site this for me just in case you're using like, you know, maybe you are you going to use song lyrics and you need to cite the site and you need to cite the website where you got your song lyrics or something like that. I have the site this for me here. If you don't already have this installed on your computer, it'll say add to Chrome right here. You just click add to Chrome and then it'll it'll point you up here towards this little guy right here, which is the Chrome extension for cite this for me. So let's just say um, I go and I'm searching for American Pie and I want the lyrics not the movie so um let's just let's just go with right here uh let's see so i go here here's the lyrics to bye bye miss american pie right so i can come up here and i can click on this little cite this for me guy and tell it i want mla and so then it's going to give me the um it's going to give me the the citation for for this um, website okay all right so that would be uh, an example of a case in which you would use where am I <laughs> you would use the site this for me okay all right a couple of things all of these with the exception of Britannica school all of these that say Gale Gale anything on them these are all databases okay so a database think of it as as, a, as its own library right when you come to the Reedy library you can get you can check out all kinds of things right all kinds of different items so the items that you can get you could get a biography book or a fiction book or a nonfiction book or a graphic novel you could get a Chromebook you could get a laptop you can check out a USB drive you can check out headphones you can even check out scissors okay so all of those would be considered the sources in the database right so those items in the library are like sources in the database so when you're looking at sources your source types are going to be magazines reference and nonfiction ebooks academic journals newspapers or online news sources and then encyclopedias okay so those are going to be the items the types of sources in the database so when your teacher says you need eight different you know eight different sources they're not talking about eight different databases they're talking about two magazine articles and a reference book and a nonfiction book and two academic journal articles and a news source and an encyclopedia article they're, these are the sources okay 
I tell you right over here what databases you can find these different types of sources in. And not all of these are in your Mac and Via group, but um, this kind of just breaks it down for you. What is this type of source? How do you use it in your research? And then where do you find it in the databases? I know that your teachers want you to use academic or scholarly um, journal articles. And so just know that what that is, it is a journal. A journal is a collection of articles usually written by scholars in an academic or professional field. So experts and professionals who know about these topics do research and then they write up the article and then they submit it to the um, to the journal and then an editorial board looks at it and decides if it should be accepted. In some cases they go a step further and they're even peer-reviewed which means the articles have been evaluated very carefully by scientific, academic, or professionals who work in that field. So academic journals or scholarly journals are your absolute very best type of source that you can that you can get. Okay, And I also have this document right here which you can reference. Oh, I uh, I can't show it to you over here. I have to I, hold on. I gotta open this up over here. Boop. Okay, so this document basically just tells you when you're looking when you're looking at magazines versus scholarly or academic journals. There's basically three types, right? Scholarly, academic journals, trade journals, which talk about like very specific industries, and then popular. The popular ones you guys are familiar with are like Time, Newsweek, Sports Illustrated, National Geographic, Seventeen, Vogue, People. Those are magazines. Scholarly and academic journals are very different. So just know that when you are researching, okay? All right, so let's go back to the correct thing here. Let's close this. So these documents are here for your reference. So in a different video, I'm going to talk about each one of these different things, but I'm going to quickly walk you through grabbing citations in these. So if I want to use Britannica School, and let's just say I want to put in here um, Civil Rights, and I want to use this um, American Civil Rights Movement, I can click on Cite. You guys are going to tell it MLA, and then you're going to copy and paste this and put it in your work cited, okay? Any images that you want to use from this database, again, you just click on the image, click on the Cite button, tell it MLA, and copy and paste this into your work cited. In this, um, in, in Britannica School, it is an online encyclopedia. It's not a database. So anything you get from this is considered from the same source. So when you're pulling anything from this, if you pull a, two or three different articles, this is still from the same source. So just be aware of that. But um, what I just did was when I searched civil rights, it came up images related to this search. So you can see all the images related to civil rights. And you see there's pages and pages of them. But these all work the same. You can use any of these. Just make sure you pull the citation. Okay. Um, student resources in context is going to be a great sort of basic uh, database. Now this is an actual database where you can... Um, where you can put in your search term and pull up information. Okay, so this is going to give you this uh, right here. This is kind of your topic overview, right? So I can click on this article and I can use this article if I want. I'm going to cite it right here, citation tool, MLA 8th edition, copy and paste, right? If you want to on this database, any of these Gale ones, you can. Um, you can sign in with your Google account. See, it says signed in Nancy Joe, and then I can download this whole article to my Google Drive. Okay, so this may help for um, you know annotation and notes purposes to to download the articles and put them in your Google Drive. Now, remember when I was talking about databases and all the different types of sources? Over here is where it tells me all the different types of sources. So I have reference articles, biographies, images, primary sources, uh, videos, audio, case overview, news, magazines, academic journals, critical essays, websites. These are all your different types of sources. And even if I click on one of these, like if I click on, like, say, primary sources, 
most of these are not going to come from the same source. Right here is where it lists the source, right? So civil rights in America, that's a source. The Native American experience, that's a source. World War I and the Jazz Age, that's a source. So even if I use four articles from this, as long as I choose different sources, then I'm covering that that aspect okay so I just want to point that out but you can click on any of these and it's going to take you down to these images work the same way any image you want to use you can click on images click on the image and then you can cite it it'll have the citation tool it'll have the citation tool right here download to Google Drive so all of all of um, all of this in here if you got all your sources from this database that's not from one source okay I just want to make that really really clear okay all of the Gale databases pretty much work the same in that sense of how you search um, I do want to tell you that academic one file is going to give you very um, so I'm gonna talk about that and just it's gonna give you a lot of your um, scholarly and academic articles um, so you can use that one for that. InfoTrack Newsstand is going to give you news. Um, GVRL is fiction and, or uh, sorry, is nonfiction and reference books. Um, and so all of these are going to be very similar in how you pull citations and how you can download them into your Google Drive. So there's your basic uh, research in your uh, video helper part two I'm going to talk about each of these different databases and what types of things are in them so follow up with uh, part two